Hey everybody, I am Marcus Engel. If we have not had a chance to meet at one of the previous Service Excellent conferences, I am based in Orlando, Florida. I am a speaker and an author and a healthcare consultant and also an adjunct professor at the University of Notre Dame, where I have the privilege of teaching humanities to pre-med students. What I'd like to talk with you about today is kindness care, but showing that kindness to your colleagues and your coworkers. Um, we're, we're in a very, very unique time right now. Not only are our, our healthcare staff feeling fearful at going into work because maybe lack of, of uh, PPE or a lack of staffing, but we're also seeing such incredible amounts of stress off the job too. I believe there's a stat out there that says 38% of nurses are also, uh, are also parents. That leaves a lot of people who are quarantined in the hospital and then quarantined at home. They're working in the hospital and then go home to quarantine with all of the usual stressors of family and kids and paying the bills and writing the checks for the mortgages and getting the trash out to the street. These are all things, plus not to mention our 24-hour our news cycle that just keeps everyone in a state of anxiety, of hypervigilance, of high stress. So during these times, uh, whenever we're stressed out, it's pretty easy to lose our way emotionally. It's pretty easy to unload on somebody who doesn't necessarily deserve it. These are high stress times. So uh, as always, when we're talking about kindness care, I go back to the simple and profound truth that hurting people hurt people. If you have a colleague or a coworker who um, maybe gives you the business or chews you up one side and down the other, or even if they just flippantly ignore you, uh, what we call lateral violence in healthcare, if any of these kinds of things happen, remember that those people are also hurting. Even if they're your colleagues, even if they're your coworkers, they are also hurting. So please take some time to remember hurting people hurt people. And secondly, I would ask you to actively listen to those who are hurting. Uh, your, your coworkers, your colleagues are, like you said, dealing with a lot of those typical daily stressors, plus being quarantined, plus maybe even potentially being afraid to go on to the job. Those are a lot of, of big major stressors. So please practice active listening with your colleagues and your coworkers, your friends. Practice truly being there, being in the moment, being present to hear their fears and their complaints and uh, their confusion. In summary, we have two do it techniques for this module. First and foremost, remember that hurting people hurt people and that everyone everyone is in a state of hypervigilance right now. It's not just your facility, it's not just your state, it's the entire globe. Hurting people hurt people. And then secondly, I wanna remind you to be actively listening to those who are hurting. Listen to their complaints, listen to their fears, listen to their confusion. And when we are present, when we are actively listening with compassion, uh, we're able to weather this storm together. 